If you have added information to a person in your family tree that is no longer viewable, it is possible that you have accidentally created a duplicate individual profile in your family tree. This means that Ancestry.com recognizes two profiles as separate, when in reality they belong to the same person. There is no simple way to fix a problem like this, but there are a few steps that you can follow if you suspect you are in this situation. First, access the correct tree. Before any other steps are taken, it's next important to determine if you do have duplicate individuals. At the top of the screen on the right, there is a small search box. You can begin to type the name of the individual in this box. You can also move the mouse over the box and select list of all people. This will show you a list of all the people currently in your family tree. In this example, the individual suspected of having a duplicate profile is Carrie Ellis. Sure enough, it appears that there are two profiles that are created for Carrie Ellis and each one has slightly different information. Click on each profile to investigate each one. You will need to determine which profile has the most accurate information. This is because you will only save one profile. You will delete the other. It is possible that the profile you keep will not have all the correct connections with other family members. In this example, this is the profile that we are going to keep for Carrie Ellis, but her husband is not connected to her. Simply click Add a Family Member and then select the appropriate box. In this example, the choice we want is Spouse. This opens the Add Spouse box. This is a very important step. If you fill out the boxes shown here, you will create a new profile for the family member. Since Carrie Ellis's husband is already part of the family tree in this example, filling out the boxes would only create a duplicate profile for him. This is exactly the opposite of what we want, since we are trying to eliminate a duplicate profile for Carrie Ellis. Instead, choose the option at the top that, se that says, Select someone already in your tree. If you see the correct person in the list that appears, you can click the Select button next to their name. Otherwise, enter their name in the search boxes at the right. And then click Search. When the correct name appears, click the Select button next to their name. This reconnects the relationships of the profile that you are going to keep. Next, you will need to go back to the profile that you do not intend to keep. Write down any details that you will want to re-add to the correct profile, such as this information in the timeline. At the top, click Edit This Person. Then on the right, click Delete followed by the name of the individual. At this point, you have successfully eliminated one of the duplicate profiles. However, it is still important to return to the profile that you have saved to add the missing information to that profile. Follow the same steps that you did earlier to return to the profile that you kept. Once you are in the profile that you have kept, click on Edit This Person. On the right, click Add a New Life Event. You can then select the appropriate choice to re-add the information to this profile.
The process is a little lengthy, but once you are finished, you will have a single profile with all of the correct information and the correct relationship connections.